Estelle Parsons, an actress with a career spanning decades, rose to prominence with her powerful performances on stage and screen. She earned an Academy Award for her role in Bonnie and Clyde and received acclaim for her work in theater, securing Tony Award nominations. Parsons also became a familiar face on television, showcasing her talent in various roles that resonated with audiences, making her a respected figure in the acting community. Estelle Parsons is an actress known for her strong performances on stage and screen. She won an Academy Award for her role in the movie Bonnie and Clyde. Besides acting, she directed plays and taught acting. Now let's talk about her work. Which performance by Estelle Parsons is your favorite? Maybe you loved her in Bonnie and Clyde or perhaps you saw her on stage. Do you know any interesting stories about her? Maybe you met her or have a special memory related to her movies or plays. We're eager to hear what you have to say. And stay tuned because we've got some surprising and touching stories about Estelle Parsons coming up that you won't want to miss. Share your thoughts and memories with us in the comments. We can't wait to read them. Estelle Parsons was born into a family with a love for the arts. Her father was a lawyer and her mother was a singer, which gave her an early appreciation for performance. Growing up, she was exposed to the theater and had a strong education, which helped her develop her acting skills. She studied law at Boston University and later acting at the Actors Studio in New York City. Her acting teacher, Lee Strasberg, played a significant role in shaping her method and approach to acting. Parsons' early stage work and her dedication to learning her craft led her to a successful career in theater, film, and television, where she continued to grow and excel as an actress. Estelle Parsons is known for her strong performances in film and theater. She won an Academy Award for her role as Blanche Barrow in Bonnie and Clyde. Her portrayal of a woman caught in the excitement and danger of the criminal world was widely praised. For fans and newcomers alike, this film is a must-watch for its thrilling story and Parsons' powerful acting. Another significant work in her career is Rachel Rachel, where she played the lead role. The film tells the story of a school teacher's personal awakening and Parsons' performance brings depth to the character's journey. For those exploring Parsons' filmography, The Sterile Cuckoo is also recommended. It showcases her ability to handle complex characters and emotional narratives. These films are just a few highlights from Estelle Parsons' extensive career and they offer a glimpse into her talent and range as an actress. Watching these movies provides an appreciation for her work and the stories she brought to life on screen. Estelle Parsons was drawn to acting during her college years. While studying law, she took part in a school play and felt an immediate connection to acting. This experience opened her eyes to the joy of performing and storytelling. She then decided to shift her focus from law to theater, driven by the thrill of live performance and the ability to connect with an audience. Her early days in theater were filled with small roles, but each one solidified her love for the craft and her desire to make it her life's work. It was this passion that led her to a successful career on stage and screen. Estelle Parsons showed her acting skills in a variety of roles. In Watermelon Man, she played Althea Gerber, sharing the screen with fellow Academy Award winner Paul Williams in a story penned by Herman Rocher. She also appeared as Mistress Trueheart in Dick Tracy, reuniting with her Bonnie and Clyde co-stars Michael J. Pollard and Warren Beatty. Her role as Beverly Harris in Roseanne is notable for the age difference with her on-screen daughter, played by Roseanne Barr. While Shelley Winters played her mother in the original show, Parsons outlived Winters and returned to the role many years later, showcasing her dedication and love for acting. Estelle Parsons faced many challenges in her early career. She had to deal with limited funds and doubt from the acting industry. Despite these issues, she showed great determination. She took on various roles and worked hard to improve her skills. Her efforts paid off as she found success on stage and screen. She became known for her strong performances and ability to connect with audiences. Her story shows that with hard work and persistence, one can overcome tough times and succeed in their dreams. Estelle Parsons shared her passion for acting with students at Yale and Columbia University. Her talent shone brightly as Blanche and Bonnie and Clyde, a role that led to her first Oscar win. At the time, she was performing on Broadway and had to quickly travel to Los Angeles for the award ceremony. Before her acting career took off, Parsons was a pioneer in television journalism, becoming the first woman to work as a political news reporter on the Today Show in 1952. 
Her unique path shows how diverse experiences can shape a successful career in the arts and media. Estelle Parsons' career had a significant turning point when she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the 1967 film Bonnie and Clyde. Her portrayal of Blanche Barrow, the wife of a gang member, was widely praised and brought her to the attention of a broad audience. This success led to more prominent roles in both film and theater. She continued to work with esteemed directors and actors which helped her grow as an actress. Her peers and critics have noted her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters. Another highlight was her long-running role as Rosen Barr's mother on the television show Roseanne, which showcased her talent in comedy and earned her several award nominations. Throughout her career, Parsons has been respected for her dedication to her craft and her skill in bringing complex characters to life. Her work has influenced many actors and is still admired today. Estelle Parsons, known for her strong stage presence, earned Tony nominations for her roles in The Seven Descents of Myrtle and Miss Reardon Drinks a Little and Miss Margaret's Way. Her talent was again recognized in 2002 with a nomination for Mornings at Seven. Her dedication to theater led her to learn Italian, enabling her to translate the works of playwrights Dario Fo and Frank Orang. On television, she portrayed Blanche Hefner in All in the Family, a show often compared to Roseanne, where she also appeared. Roseanne Barr likened her character to a female Archie Bunker, highlighting the strong connection between the two shows. Estelle's work alongside Isabel Sanford in both series further cemented her status as a respected actress in the industry. Estelle Parsons approaches acting with a focus on understanding her characters deeply. She studies their backgrounds, their motivations, and how they relate to others. This helps her bring a sense of reality to her roles. Her own life experiences, like growing up during the Great Depression, influence her portrayal of characters who face tough challenges. She often plays strong women, showing her belief in resilience and courage. Her style is direct and honest, aiming to show the truth of each character's life. This makes her performances feel real and relatable as she connects her own understanding of life struggles and joys to her characters. Estelle Parsons' work reflects her view that everyone has a story worth telling. Estelle Parsons showed her acting skills in the movie Dick Tracy as Mistress Trueheart. She worked alongside other well-known actors who have won Oscars like Warren Beatty, Al Pacino, Dustin Hoffman, and Kathy Bates. James Caan, Charles Durning, Seymour Castle, and Michael J. Pollard, who were also in the movie, have been nominated for Oscars. Estelle also played Maude in the musical version of Harold and Maude at the Paper Mill Playhouse in New Jersey. In the TV show All in the Family, she played Blanche Hefner. Rosen, who was interviewed with Carol O'Connor, said she made her character by thinking of a woman like Archie Bunker. By chance, Estelle Parsons was also in the ninth season of All in the Family. Estelle Parsons, an actress known for her strong characters, has had a significant role in the acting world. She won an Academy Award for her performance in Bonnie and Clyde and has been praised for her work on stage and screen. Her acting style, often described as direct and honest, has influenced many actors. She has also been a teacher, sharing her knowledge with younger generations. Her work in theater, especially on Broadway, has shown her range and skill. People in the industry respect her for her dedication and ability to bring depth to her roles. Parsons continues to act, showing that age does not limit talent or success. Estelle Parsons' journey in acting is marked by memorable roles that show her dedication to her craft. In her debut film, Bonnie and Clyde, she played Blanche, where she experienced the intensity of special effects firsthand. She had to operate a hidden device to mimic bullet impacts during a scene, which was a new challenge for her. Moving to the small screen, Parsons portrayed Beverly Harris and Roseanne, where she worked alongside her real-life friend Shelley Winters, contrasting their on-screen conflict. They had hoped to perform in Waiting for Goddard together, but that plan never came to fruition. Returning to Bonnie and Clyde, Parsons was deeply invested in her role as Blanche, being the only cast member to delve into the real history of the Barrow Gang. Despite an initial interest in meeting the actual Blanche Barrow, she decided against it after a change of heart. Warren Beatty, who played a pivotal role in the production, sought Blanche Barrow's approval of the script, which she gave after confirming its accuracy. However, the final portrayal of Blanche in the film left the real Barrow feeling misrepresented, a sentiment shared by Parsons when she watched the film with her husband. 
Estelle Parsons, known for her acting, also leads a life rich with personal interests and values that shape her work. She has a strong belief in social justice and equality, which is evident in her choice of roles and projects. Her passion for theater extends beyond acting. She directs plays that often tackle social issues, reflecting her commitment to using art as a means for change. Parsons is also an advocate for education and the arts, supporting programs that make these fields accessible to young people. Her dedication to these causes shows her belief in the power of community and the arts to improve lives. Estelle Parsons, known for her role as Beverly Harris in the television show Roseanne, had an interesting connection to the horror genre. She and Shelley Winters were considered for the role of the villain Pamela Voorhees in the original Friday the 13th movie. However, Parsons turned down the role, which was then given to Betsy Palmer. In a twist of fate, Michael J. Pollard, who starred with Parsons in the classic film Bonnie and Clyde, also appeared in a slasher film, Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland. Speaking of Bonnie and Clyde, the movie was notable for its star-studded cast, including four actors who won Oscars Warren Beatty, Faye Dunaway, Gene Hackman, and Estelle Parsons herself, along with two nominees, Gene Wilder and Michael J. Pollard. Parsons' portrayal of Blanche and Bonnie and Clyde remains a significant part of her acting career. Estelle Parsons has had a significant career in acting, earning respect for her skill and dedication. She has shown that hard work and persistence are key to success in the acting world. For those starting out, she advises focusing on the craft of acting itself rather than fame. She encourages actors to constantly learn and grow to be patient and to stay true to their passion for the art of performance. As for her future, she aims to continue exploring new roles and projects that challenge her as an artist, sharing her experience with the next generation of actors. Her guidance is simple, love what you do, always be ready to learn, and never give up on your dreams. Estelle Parsons led the Actors Studio as Artistic Director, guiding actors in their craft from 1998 to 2003. Before her acting career, she studied law, showing her wide range of skills. On the television show All in the Family, she played Blanche Hefner, joining the ranks of Oscar-winning actors like Martin Balsam and Henry Fonda, who appeared on the show. Celeste Holm, another Oscar winner, was featured on the spin-off Archie Bunker's Place. Parsons' role added to the show's acclaim, bringing a touch of Hollywood's top honors to the world of sitcoms. Estelle Parsons' career is a story of dedication and creativity. From her early days on stage to her success on screen, she showed a love for acting that inspired many. Her roles were always filled with energy and depth, showing her skill and love for her craft. She won awards in hearts with her performances, proving that hard work and talent can lead to great things. Her journey reminds us that with creativity and the will to keep going, we can achieve our dreams and inspire others along the way. Estelle Parsons had a full family life alongside her acting career. At 27, she welcomed twin daughters, Abby and Martha, with her first husband, Richard Jamin. Later, she and her second husband, Peter Zimroth, adopted a son named Abraham. Her family grew to include a son-in-law, Laura Christine Mayo, and two grandsons, Eben and Augustus, through her daughter Abby. Evan went on to become a professional football player, and Augustus pursued painting. Estelle also became a great-grandmother to Sandy Britton. In her professional training, Estelle studied method acting under the guidance of Lee Strasberg, a significant figure in the acting community. Her roots trace back to Eben Parsons and Eleanor and Giborg Matson, her parents who married in Massachusetts. Estelle's older sister, Elaine Parsons Ruggles, lived a life spanning 73 years. Estelle's family background and her dedication to her craft have played a significant role in her life and career. Estelle Parsons made her mark in Hollywood when she won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Bonnie and Clyde. She was the 64th actress to receive this honor. Her talent shone through on television as well. In All in the Family, she joined the ranks of Oscar-winning actors like Henry Fonda and Martin Balsam, who had also appeared on the show. Parsons played Blanche Hefner, showcasing her versatility across different roles. The show was a breeding ground for talent, with many associated actors and creators receiving Oscar nominations for various achievements. Parsons also had a significant role in Roseanne, playing Beverly Harris. The show's lead, Roseanne Barr, once mentioned she modeled her character after Archie Bunker from All in the Family, linking Parsons' roles in both series. 
This connection highlights the crossover of talent in the world of sitcoms where actors like Parsons and Isabel Sanford brought their unique presence to some of television's most memorable shows. Estelle Parsons' acting career has been a journey of powerful performances that have touched many. From her Oscar-winning role in Bonnie and Clyde to her long-running part on the sitcom Roseanne, she has shown a wide range of skills. We invite you to share your favorite moments from her career in the comments. Your thoughts help keep the memory of her work alive. If you enjoy content that celebrates actors like Estelle Parsons, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Your support helps us bring more stories and highlights of those who have shaped the world of entertainment. Thank you for watching and being part of our community.